Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just want to let you know I've been up all night. I've been seeing planets in my head, I, all this stuff in my head, okay? So, as you guys know, okay, I work with planets every day, obviously, when we talk about our zodiacs and where we need to be, okay? Um, every single zodiac. We're going to his bank. He wants to get a new card he lost. Okay, love you. Um... So I I talked about Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, um, Leo, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Sag, Capri, Aquarius, Pisces. I covered them all. Okay. I also dug into like Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Uranus, Mercury, Neptune, Venus, Mars, and Pluto. So that's how I broke it down. Okay. Because I want you to know where all these planets are, what they're doing right now, how it affects your everyday life. Okay, so it's a breakdown. It's it's breakup. It's makeups. It's letting doors shut to begin again. Okay, so I'm gonna show you briefly how I um how I broke this down, um and you know I I started with Jupiter and what Jupiter truly wants to truly wants to give you. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little rundown. Okay, so we have the two of wands, the six of pence, the ten of pence is what it was saying. Okay, this is what Jupiter is about to give. This is blessings. This is balancing out the scales. No one's looking back here. This was moving forward. When I said what's going on right now, all right, we had the queen, the queen of cups, the magician, and the eight of swords. Okay, so what this is trying to tell me is where Jupiter wants you. They want you on a new path. They don't want you looking backwards, and you're not, which is great. There's no going backwards. So if a door shut, let it shut, okay? Um, it's the Six of Pens. It, it's it's stressing the song real quick. It's what I like, Bruno Mars, okay? Shining so bright. It, the brightest star right now, the the planet, is like the Christmas star. It's, it's, it's Venus anyway, okay? But it all correlates, guys. But it's get on your path. Balance out the scales, you know, if you got the money, give back. That is for damn sure. Everything will come back tenfold. But this is about blessings. That's also, you know, karma, you know, which is, it was more or less Saturn, but it, it's linked right now. It's those, it's Venus and Jupiter and Saturn are the ones I really stressed on. Okay. I stressed all of them though. Um, but they want to give you the 10 of pens. So what's happening in order to start your path, what type of energy they want you to absorb? Queen of pens. I mean, queen of cups. Is that nurturing, compassionate energy. It's it's generosity, okay? It's that six of pens. It's the even give and take, all right? It's balancing out the scales. Manifest it. Use visualizations. Or what it's saying is you're already a master at, at manifesting, bringing new to your life. Manifest this money because they want you to. It's it's here. It's Gemini, guys. Gemini rules. Um. It's the comma. What is Gemini rule? Help me out. Is it, It's Jupiter, right? I'm like, help me out. I can't even talk to you right now. Because you guys can't talk to me. But it's... No, Jupiter's Sag. Um, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? I can't think right now. Oh my gosh. I know you guys are like saying it in your head right now. But it, it's all about manifesting things into your life. It's the alchemy, okay? It's it's the sorcery that you guys hold. It's the, it's the magic. It's all about the magic. It's, it's kind of scorp energy, too. All right? So I, I don't know if it's linked to Pluto or Mars. It's one of those. Son of a gun, I can't think. Anywho, you know, be that magician. To me, it's already something, something already manifested. It's about getting on the stat. Okay, it's getting there with the Ten of Pens. They want to give you the Ten of Pens. They want to give you that stability. They want to give you that solid foundation. But right now, you guys are, are the Eight of Swords, all right? But what you're doing to yourself, it, it's, it's all mental. All right, you're doing this. What Jupiter wants to give you is rewards. They're, that door shut for you to start open a new one. You know what I'm saying? It's time to balance out the scales. It's time to ground ourselves. It is time to reach our goals, our future, what's best for us. Uh, a solid foundation is what they want to give you. They want to give you gifts, but you need to get on your path first. And again, best advice, be compassionate. Be the queen of cups energy. All right? 
start with that spirituality, that manifesting. It's not saying, to me, when I clarified, I, I believe that you were already manifesting. It, it's something coming into fruition now. It's, it's, it's having all the tools you need to persevere and push through. But what you got to do is get out of this eight of swords. Because if you don't get out of this eight of swords, you're going to stay in Mercury energy. And, and that's no good because Mercury wants to push you right now. All right. And it's linked to Saturn too, because Saturn's the house of, of karma. So it, you have to do step by step. You've got to clear up karma to move forward. You, you have to have all that stuff. You have to be able to know how to shape you and how to shape your future. And Jupiter wants to help. They want to partake. So you need to take part in this, okay? You can't just expect them to do it for you. I can't remember the exact lesson, but it, it made complete sense. Um because it, it does have to do with your karma, too, because we were going into Saturn. But I, I'll pull you one lesson card just to show you what, what Jupiter, what you're dealing with, what the lesson you're dealing with. But to me, this is this is moving forward and not looking back, all right? A lesson for Jupiter. So this is like a little bonus, okay? That's too many. A little a little bonus. Um, whoa. All right, it's... One of your lessons right now is pride is to love yourself and to see who you are. And I just said that about shaping yourself, guys. Shaping shaping yourself, okay? It's using that good pride, all right, to, to move forward and push through and, and to get yourself through certain things so you can persevere. They want this for you, okay? At the end of the deck, I, I read my wick, okay? Um, and I kept explaining. It looked like a cat eye or something. I couldn't really explain it. And then I asked for a particular card to explain what this is when the read was all said and done. And it threw me the five of fire, but it, I was looking for a vision. Look at that. Look how close that is. Looks just like it. Okay. They're really talking to you. I want you to write notes. This is, it's like, to me, it's like a little butterfly. It's time to spread your wings. It's that self-beauty. It's the self-respect, getting yourself out of situations where you no longer belong, letting a door shut so a new one can open. It's more than a new year's resolution. I'm tired of telling you this. All these planets are here in the next couple of weeks to push you on your path. Okay. I broke down everything. I really truly feel that it's important. Okay. When you purchase this video, watch it. Okay. But then rewatch it. Write down little notes, you know, like write down what Jupiter wants to bring you. It wants to put you on your path. It wants to ground you. It wants to give gifts. It wants you to have a solid life. So write that all down and then tell myself, I have control over my own thoughts. I'm going to get myself out of this situation. Why? Because I'm better than that. I deserve better. Okay. So just write a little list. Write down Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Mercury, Neptune, Venus, Mars, and Pluto. Okay. And then I'm going to get, and then write down what they want you to work on in the next couple of weeks. Get yourself, you want this? Get yourself out of this. Let that door open. Because when we're in the, when we're in the vicinity, when we have love, we have comfort, we have all that stuff. Our vibration is huge. Okay. And, and it's so important. Um, they want us there. They don't, they don't want us here. Okay, they want us to learn lessons, to persevere, to push through. They want all that for us. They want us to clear up comment and learn the next lesson. Why do you want to stay working on the same lesson for years and years when you can learn that lesson and move on to a new one? I mean, I, I that's what I want. All right, that's what I'm trying to teach. So I did this particular video because I wanted you to, how I always do my daily energies and people are like, what read is this for? It's for everyone. It's the pl I'm reading the planets. Every planet is linked to a zodiac. We have each aspect, all propensities in our chart, ladies and gents. This whole entire read, even though I broke down zodiacs for you, according to the planets, you're still every single one. I want you to learn how we use our planets, how we how we use this energy to push through. The sun, you know, it comes in every month. The moon is every couple days. People don't realize that. It switches every couple days, Okay. In and out of zodiacs, okay. Um, our Mercury is it's the mind, it, it's it's every three to four weeks, all right. So it, it's that's why we're constantly back and forth, back and forth with all the energy, okay. Learn to work with it. Um, Mars energy, okay. Mars is is our planet that rules energy, it's every six to seven weeks, so. That means somebody's been in this energy because this is the last couple of weeks. That means someone you've already been in this energy for a good four weeks. Get out of it so you can have this by the time it's all said and done. 
which is really to me New Year's. All right, so get out of this. Don't stress out, but get out of it. If they see you partaking in stuff and giving them direction, they're going to push you exactly where you need to be because they're going to know. You can't fool the universe, okay? Um, Jupiter, it's, it's people say it's the luck, it's the growth. It's every 12 to 13 months, but it's here now. It's one of the biggest ones after Venus, okay? Um, Saturn's every two to three years, but that's that's here right now too. Okay, it's what's here. What? Okay, so listen, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto. It, 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 they're slow, slow moving. Okay, but they just came forefront again. All right, this is what shapes our entire generations. Okay, this is this is that shift. It's now we're shaping a new generation. All right, hopefully it's a spiritual generation. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, because we need it. All right, so you got the, the sun, the moon, the Mercury, Mars, and the Venus. That's your everyday-to-day -day life. That's your moods. That's your habits, okay? So it's important. That's why I broke down zodiacs for you too, okay? Because, you know, the moon is that cancer moon right now. It's important. It rules home. You know, you got you got the Mercury, you know? So it's it's like... It's that energy you need to, you just need to push through it. You just need to push through it. It's Virgo. It's it's Gemini. It, it's your it's your health. It's your mind. It's, it's where you should be. It's how to push through, how to persevere. Okay. Um, it's your yeah, Mars too. Okay. It's the Mars. It's the Pluto. It, it's the Scorp. It's, it's sex. It's marriage. It's, it's at the end of the day, it, it's miracles. It, it's letting the planets and the energy work with you putting you on your path, having faith, rolling with it, saying, okay, where do you want me? Try it. Okay. I'm telling you, because if you let the planets work with your energy, you allow them to rule that energy and you work with it every day and you know what you're working with, it's only going to benefit you. Okay. Venus is huge right now too. Okay. It, again, it's, it's day to day. It's, it's Taurus. It's, it's your money. It's it's self reflection. It, it's it's you. It's it's love life too. But it's really about self respect and, and nurturing yourself and taking care of you. And and Libra, it's that karma. It's it's balancing out, you know, Saturn, um, doing things the way you should do. You, you know, it talks about bad habits that that type of stuff. You know, the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Every day, it, it rules you guys. You should really know how to work with it. Okay. That's why we talk about full moons, new moons, especially the sun, because it changes. You know, it's important to know what type of energy is coming at you. Um, Pluto and Neptune is every 10 to 12 years, but they're here now, too. They're stepping in, okay? Everything came back around. I did a video a couple months ago explaining that to you about not staying stagnant because of the slowest moving ones. You don't want to stay in stagnant energy. This is everyone's opportunity to get out. So, again... You know, I know I did Scorpio and I believe Cappies, but this was my way of every Zodiac getting a dose of something, okay? Um, because this is where everyone should be. So this is for every single Zodiac because each planet represents a Zodiac. So this is what it wants to give you in the next couple weeks. And then I, like I said, how to go about it or what you're in, okay? So, so basically... Um, since this was Jupiter, okay, um, <clears throat> this is kind of Sag energy, okay, and, and Sag is about, you know, what, what are we going to learn, what are we going to live behind, how much wisdom did we take it, take from it, how did we learn that lesson, how do we move forward, it is about travel, you know, but then that's Sag energy, but then Jupiter is about gifts and inheritances and, and winnings and, and money and stability, in lessons okay so it's like not really lessons i was thinking of saturn so this is Ju the jupiterian energy that that they want to give you that's here you just have to acknowledge it and want it this is what's holding you back and it's just your thoughts okay so this is huge huge help i just gave you and, and breakdowns and why you should relate to everyday energy and why we stay in certain energy for, you know, say four to six weeks, we keep reading the same thing and we're reading thoughts. Well, that's about to shift in the next two weeks. So it's real important to know where you're at and how to work with it. Okay. This is why I did this for you. 
it's probably going to wipe me out for the day. I'll be back at some point. Right now, I got to get to um, all my emails and, and stay on top of this for you guys. Um, if for some reason you don't get this within an hour or two tops, re email me, please. Videos an hour and a half. Again, I broke down Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Mercury, Neptune, Venus, Mars, and Pluto, which therefore breaks down Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, um, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capi, Aquarius, Pisces. Everything correlated, and it's the order I went into. I went in the order of the planets right now, okay? It is like around the world. It's 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 crazy. Um, it was a beautiful read. There what insight that this just gave you it's so important for you guys to know how these planets work and what they bring and how to work with them and what type of energy you're in to get out of it and what they want to bring you okay it gives you a whole new insight i know i don't talk about planets enough okay but in all reality when i talk about my zodiacs and i do my daily energy i am working with every single planet and if it feels stagnant to you, you got to remember is because it's Mars is every six to seven weeks. Mars rules energy. So we're in that energy for a little while. But how we handle it, how we get out of the energy, how we overcome things is our Mercury. It's our sun. You know, it's, it's the moon energy. It, it's, you know, learning to adapt to certain um, energies and, and how to work with them are so key. Um I am honestly being pulled to do this every couple weeks for you guys, okay? Um, and hopefully I can find time to do that because I have so many other endeavors to get on. Because um, again, it takes a couple hours and it drains me for the entire day, guys. I'm pulling on plant. I, I just, some of you will understand and some of you will not, okay? Um, but they're so important that you know where our placements, where the placements are. So I am kind of, I, I kind of do have to let you, I, I, I am going to have to do this, okay? Because it's more than just your zodiacs. I, I think some of you, uh, guys, I can't stress, it's the planets that rules your zodiacs. So it's important to know what they want to give you and, and how to get out of certain energy. You want all this? You want to go on that path and let that door shut once and for all? Go about it in a very adult manner, a very compassionate way, very nurturing, taking care of yourself, others, giving back, receiving gifts. The divine is about to, re you're about to receive a gift. And I'm telling you, what they're telling you is use every tool that you've learned to build that stability, that solid foundation that everybody seeks, okay? That lavish life. It's, it's more than just getting by. But your thoughts right now are stopping you. Okay, so I don't even need to clarify because it's your thoughts. Switch up your thoughts. Okay, you want this? This is what they want to give each and every single person on this planet, not just certain individuals. Okay, I can't stress that enough. So again, like I said, I broke down every planet with every zodiac. So if, if you're really just focused on your zodiac, then, then so be it. Then this is Sag energy. Okay. Um, but to me, this is, this is Jupiterian energy. This is that gift. This is the gift of, of giving the about to be blessed with this. Okay. You have all the tools to, to do this, to, to, cause you've learned a certain particular lesson. You let something shut for something to open. Okay, we talked about all that. We talked about breakups, third parties. I saw it all, guys. Okay. You have control over this. You. It's the end of the Eight of Swords. It, it's on you to step out of this and allow Jupiter to bring you this. Because I'm getting this. You guys are getting this. If you get out of that, that's ugh, that's no good. That, that that's gets out of that and that's why it let off on that because then we went to then we went to Saturn so it, it kind of all went in a row and then certain numbers came up and I broke up numbers you know how that divine works with me guys the synchronicity is the giving you the confirmation that I'm telling you certain stuff is right it, it's true it's it's quite a blessing I have and I'm I love okay because then we move on to Saturn and Saturn's all about our lessons and it breaks that down okay how to get out of that it's it's step by step 
I really, really advise you to watch the video once and then go back and write down the simple little steps. Like I said, Jupiter for the next couple weeks, they want you on the path. They're about to give you a gift. Get on that path. Show that you can do that. Have that compassion. Move forward. Hold your head up high. Use your intuition. You know, um, you have all the tools to, to, to do this. And once they see you partaking, here comes the blessings. It could just be as simple as a new job, guys, that within time is going to give you that stability. It's going to pay your bills. It's going to put food on your table so you don't have to worry. All right. It doesn't have to be a, a, a lottery. To me, that would be a lottery winning. That would be a golden ticket because I'm, I, can, I have money to pay my bills. I have a happy family. I have food on my table. I'm appreciating things in my life. I'm appreciating what's being brought my way. And then once they start seeing all that and you start working with it, it's just blending blessings and blending the energy, guys. See how it works? You don't have to be a millionaire. They're not saying, oh, I'm not going to win the lottery. I'm not, you know, some of you are. <laughs> some of you are. It's destined, okay? It's, it's in the energy right now. But others, it's just that solid job to, to live a simple life and work your way to a lavish life if you're doing it the right way. You know, I'd be just as content. Would everyone like to win the lottery? Yeah, but to me, no lie, my heart, my soul, just having a solid foundation, be able to pay my bills and, and put be able savings and, and going on vacations and, you know, having bills on the paid and, and again, food on the table and you know, a roof over my head, to me, that, that is my golden ticket. Okay. That is my, my winning ticket. It's blessings and, and they want to provide for you to make sure, you know, we talked about money too. Taurus was money guys. Sorry, I jumped, but that money came up. Money was huge. I did talk about money more than romance guys. Cause I broke down the planets and what they provide. Okay. So I love you guys. I hope you appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. You know, thanks for supporting the channel and and wanting to learn and, and better better yourselves to, to be in solid situations, beneficial situations. All right. It's like one day at a time, ladies and gents, for all of us. I love it, you guys, so much. Is. Have a fantastic day. Again, you can go to the link in the donation box. Um, Donate the eight dollars, and I will send it to you. Um, also, if you don't know where your planets are, you can go to my about page. You go to the home page, scroll to the left. The about page is there's links there. There's you can find them all over Google, and it will tell you exactly where each one sits. But I broke it down for you anyway. But if you want to know exactly where it sits in, in your planetary chart, that's what you, you definitely want to do. Okay. It's it's more than just the zodiacs, guys. We have every single zodiac in our chart. Okay. This is the video was based around the planetorial energy for the zodiacs, but the focus was planets, okay? Super but um I was gonna say vegetational. Hello. Super educational video with not lots and lots of knowledge so I'm, I'm excited i did that i was definitely being pushed to do it and and now i see why okay so if you just go with the flow and allow things to happen beauty comes out of it straight up beauty okay like like hello that's spreading your wings letting go of conflict at the bottom of the deck before it was it was the this the justice it's the balancing out the scales it, it's it's Saturn it plays a big part too, okay. But I, I can't stress enough. I said in the beginning I want to read my flame that and when I asked it came flying out. Look at the resemblance of my wick to those wands. It's let go of anything that's not healthy. Healthy competition's all good, but let go of what's not healthy. See the beauty in things. Spread your wings. We see the gifts. Don't don't let conflict get the best of you when you can work your way out of it. I just I just showed you how to work your way out of it. An hour and a half of telling you how to work your way out of it. So don't say you can't do it. You say you can. Look at the resemblance, guys. I can't stress it enough. If there's competition somewhere exit out. Your body is way more precious than to be swapping energy like that too. 
Okay. It's, this is what it's telling me. You've completed goals. You let it shut. Get on a new path. Don't let bothersome things get the best of you. A man in that type of energy, that Cancerian Pisces energy, is the healing, it's the home, it's the compassion. All right, it's, it's the beliefs, it's, it's having all the tools to persevere. You're only putting yourself here. This conflict, you're doing it to yourself. What it's saying, spread your damn wings. Okay. I don't know if it's your fifth time trying, but let go of any competition. It's not, it's not that healthy competition right now. All right. This is the energy you should be in right now. Cancer, Pisces energy, healing, beliefs, home, the homestead, yourself, taking care of yourself, the self-respect. All right. Feeling the emotions, the mind, body, soul, going with it, feeling it, guys. I'm not playing. Super, super, super educational video. I seriously just felt like PBS. But you know what? It is what it is. All right. I was just going to do that whole spiel they do, public broadcasting. But I don't remember it. I don't want to spend a long time since I watched Sesame Street. Okay. So, and not to mention, remember like your grandmother or your ma when they used to do like the, the charity work and they would all be on the phones answering it and they would do like a telethon or something. <laughs> and you just pictured that in my head. All right. Go purchase your educational video. Support my channel. Yada, yada, yada. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the beautiful, beautiful energy that is about to be pursued upon us. I'm not playing with you. All right, you've learned major lessons. You should not be in this energy. You're self-sabotaging yourself from stability, from a solid foundation. Okay? You got this. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.